thanks for tuning in. This is Hop to Bottoms coming at you with another video review. This time I'm bringing you Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Skids and Mudflap in their ice cream truck mode. Now, according to the bio on the back of the box, the, the American government and the Autobots are experimenting with combination technology. And they decide to tr test that out with the twins. And this is their combined form. And as you can see, it's an ice cream truck. We saw this briefly in the Revenge of the Fallen movie in the beginning, where they're running around. Yeah, that sucked. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, overall, it's a fairly nice looking figure. It is a deluxe class size, and I'm gonna bring in his counterparts. Well, here's deluxe class skids, as you can see, same size. And of course, mud flap is gonna be the same size as well, because they're pretty much the same size as well. So, very nice figure, except he is a little bit small, and it, there's all three of them right there. So. Overall, it's a nice looking figure. I'm kind of disappointed in the size of it, but to be honest, when I watched the, the movie, Skids and Mud Flapped in, in this mode looked a little bit smaller than they actually were in the other car version. So maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm not, but you see creamy ice cream right on the side. It says made fresh for you, a little ice cream logo there. One thing people have complained about, it doesn't say it's anywhere on here, suck my popsicle. Well, these are toys, and you can't really put that on a toy for kids. So, I mean, although it would be nice, and I'm sure a lot of people will customize it and put it on there themselves, I'm not going to do it. But overall, this is a pretty nice-looking vehicle mode. I can't really complain about it. First time we've ever had an ice cream truck, and it's a pink transformer. So, um, But combination, so they combine, and they separate, and uh, this is them separated. This is actually how they come packaged, and it's it's actually kind of cool. I remember when we were first getting leaked footage of the Revenge of the Fallen movie, and we could see that people were moving around set pieces that were in this half like this, and people were like, "What's that? It looks like an ice cream truck, and it's and they're split in half. Maybe it's a uh, sideswipe, and maybe it's his brother, Sunstreaker, blah blah blah." And it turned out that it's Skids and Mudflap. We're gonna start with Skids here first of all, and as you can see. He makes up the front part of the car. All you have to do for him is rotate the legs. Just bring those down, just like so. Come around here to the front, and you're just going to detach this. You can kind of rotate that to kind of get it out of the way. Fold that in the back, but, you know, whatever you want to do. I'm going to do it like this because it's a little bit easier. The instructions say the other way. Come around here to the side here, and there's a little tab here that's kind of annoying to get past. And usually, yeah, see, usually you end up pulling the damn arm off, but it clips right back on there, and then you can fold it down a lot easier. So, do the same thing for the other side, kind of loosen it up, and try, and there we go, get it around there, and then just kind of fold it down to the side. And I think I hear my mailman. <laughs> fold this up, and this is where it gets a little kind of confusing. You got to try and rotate it there we go rotate that around you got the legs around like so and then this section here the uh, the wheel well you want to just lift it up like so oh and his head popped out that's normal so lift that up like so come around here and if by now his head hasn't popped out it probably will fold this in fold this in fold that down rotate this down and around Pull that back, kind of tuck that down, push that in. Then you want to swivel this up, and you're going to peg this together like so. Just position his arms at this point in time. Kind of pull out his head, push this little bit down. And here you have skids. Oh, his legs came undone. But here you have skids in his robot mode. A very small figure. Um, a lot smaller than his brother Mudflap, but still fairly nice looking representation of him. I do like the way he looks. So, And for scale purposes, I'm going to set him right there. And here is Dirt Boss, also a Scout Class figure. And you can see he's actually smaller than a Scout Class at the head anyhow. So there, there's your size comparison. Now for Mudflap, he's a little bit easier. You just kind of lift these up, get these out of the way. 
come around here. Well, he's not easier. He's actually more involved of a transformation. Just kind of wiggle these little bits. So pull that out, just separate in the back. There you go. Separate all this bit, loosen everything up, pull these little bits forward. Pull those little bits forward. These are gonna kind of swivel around. Take these little bits here on the back and you're going to separate that. And that's gonna swivel around to the side. You're gonna use that in a second. Do that for the other side as well. Swivel that around. Um, these are gonna kind of spring around this way. Around to the, no, not spring, but you need to rotate these around to the sides. Like so. Bring out his legs, fold them all the way out. And then you wanna bring up the crotch piece and clip that together. There we go. Straighten out his legs. Got his arms that are still up here. Take these little bits, rotate these around, and they plug in little holes right in the front, right underneath his chest. Just like so. Fold out his hand. Take that around, kind of position his head down more. These, these are kind of, you can position these really kind of any way you want. I usually kind of just leave them like this. Fold his little head, fold these side panels back and there you have mud flap in his robot mode and his feet are really big and gumpy and they kind of they're actually kind of difficult to pose because they are so big and they don't line up real well so you gotta kind of position everything right but there you have there you have them skids and mud flap in their robot mode in the ice cream truck and again for size comparison here is Dirt Boss, which is flimsy. And uh, as you can see, they are Scout class figures. So that's a little disappointing seeing how the de their deluxe figures are so much bigger. So as you can see, as I said, considerably smaller than the deluxe counterparts in their robot mode. Um, the biggest one is, is Mudflap, obviously. He's much bigger than his brother Skids. But... Overall though, I mean, it's a nice looking figure. Most of the time these guys remain in the ice cream truck mode, so that's, it doesn't get too ridiculous looking. But there they are. And in terms of articulation, obviously here is, here's Skids, his head all over the place. Only really back and forth at the arm. It's very limited, kind of in and out. Legs are pretty well articulated though. I like the way the legs function. Um, his brother Mudflap, on the other hand, has kind of retarded legs. They're way too big, difficult to pose. But in the in, but the the arms are a whole lot better. They all they both have fake hand. Like here's a molded in hand, and then here's a real hand. His brother has it on this hand, and then that one's molded in. Articulation in the head as well. So overall, very nice looking figures. I do recommend them if you see them. They're they're fun. And they're ice cream trucks, they're, and everybody loves the twins. They're, they're just, they're fun and exciting. So I do highly recommend this, but pick it up later on, unless it's a figure that's rare in your area. If you see them, pick them up right away then. Now to transform them, first I'm going to start with Mudflap. You just kind of want to pull everything apart. Loosen this, rotate this around. Loosen that, rotate that around. I'm going to bring his feet together here, separate his torso bit, and it's going to kind of rotate around for this. You want to bring these bits back first. Trust me, it'll help. Get the hands out of the way. Bring that back, rotate everything around to the side, and then you want to bring these pieces in. You want these pieces to be on the outside of this bar. And that'll kind of clip right in there. There you go, bring that around. And that'll snugly fit right in there. Kind of peg these back sections together if you can. There we are. Get the wheels out of the way, bring the top pieces, close that in, close that in on that side as well, 
bring these pieces up. Now you see two little holes on the underside here that those pegs go into. Just push that down, click that off to the side, click that down to the side like so. You need to fold the hand in for this side. Fold this little bit up in. And there you have mud flap back in his section. Skids, it's a little bit easier. Make sure you pull this little bit out. Rotate this around. Fold this little bit out. Fold the windows from the sides out. Make sure that you have this up and then you're gonna fold this on top of his head and just kind of push it down and then you're not gonna really be able to lock it in yet so just kind of leave it there. And, uh, and again, you got to try and swivel these around. So bringing the arms out like this usually help. So rotate that around and rotate these back at the same time. And somebody horrible is singing. <laughs> Somebody's practicing their singing that lives next door to me and you can hear it all the way over here. So now you have it like this. Take the fender sides and you want to Fold those bits down. Do that on both sides so they're lower. With this out, you can fold that down and then clip this up. And that should hold it in. But if not, when you bring this piece up, this will lock it into place even better. So you have it like that. Fold this on the outside, like so. And then you clip these little guys on the side. Just like so. I know people hate it when I say like so. So we're gonna rotate this up like so. Fold this in like so, maybe. No. There we are. Clip on the side like so. And then you literally just fold these up into his front section like that and here you have them and there's a little catch groove right here and a hook and you just kind of put it on here and you swing it down and you line up all these side panels push it together come around to the other side push it together both sides nice and together and there you have the ice cream twin, twins back in the vehicle mode. Definitely a nice figure. I do recommend picking it up. You get two scout size figures for the price of one deluxe. So it's a little bit of a deal, I suppose. But uh, if, if you like Transformers, you're going to like this figure. He's, he's fun. He's entertaining. He's cool to look at. So until next time, guys, thank you for tuning in. This is Optobotomous. I'll talk to you.